A soldier from the 79th Airborne Assault Brigade knocked out a Russian tank with a javelin, which is a very difficult task. As a result, not only the tank but also its crew will never participate in combat. Forbes writes that a lone Russian tank equipped with a projectile-proof armor and the front mine carriage approached the Ukrainian paratroopers and that is when the fighter fired an American-made javelin anti-tank missile. The 50-pound infrared guided javelin is one of the best anti-tank missiles in the world and the 79th Air Assault Brigade's missile men are among the most skilled javelin shooters in the world. The knocked out Russian tank began to burn from the inside. All three crew members were saved, but for one of them, their clothes caught fire. The unburned tank crew tried to put out the fire that had engulfed their comrade, but at that moment, the tank exploded. Getting into position to fire a javelin accurately is tough and dangerous work. Anti-tank teams must lie low, patiently track targets up to a mile away, fire a missile and then quickly move out of position. If the enemy detects you after the first launch, he will throw all his forces at you, explained a soldier from the 79th Assault Brigade. Ukrainian assault troops deploy their most aggressive soldiers to anti-tank teams. They can destroy a staggering amount of equipment. A missile man with the 79th Assault Brigade nicknamed Gagos destroyed 40 Russian vehicles in 18 months beginning in 2022. Another javelin gunner with the brigade, Junior Sergeant Andrei H, knocked out four vehicles in a single engagement in January. Knocking out just one tank is not that impressive, but for the defenders of eastern Ukraine, even small victories are preferable to defeat and retreat. It is worth noting that on July the 24th, the Ukrainian 79th Airborne Assault Brigade, holding the line near the town of Kurakovka, repelled one of the largest Russian attacks this year, a massive assault by 11 tanks, 45 infantry fighting vehicles, a BMPT tank, support vehicle, and 12 motorcycles with crews. By laying mines, launching drones, firing artillery and anti-tank missiles, the 79th Airborne Assault Brigade destroyed six tanks, seven combat vehicles and all 12 motorcycles. The brigade counted 40 Russians killed and 37 wounded. Former President Barack Obama headlined a campaign event in Tucson, Arizona, where he was critical of Kamala Harris's political opponent, Donald Trump. What I cannot understand is why anyone would think that Donald Trump will shake things up in a way that is good for you," said Barack Obama. Obama also made a few quips about Trump's town hall meeting earlier in the week, where he and South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem swayed and listened to music for 30 minutes. Obama asked the audience, can you imagine if I did that, and jokingly said that his playlists would probably be better. Obama and former President Bill Clinton have been campaigning across the United States in key battleground states for Kamala Harris, as Election Day is less than three weeks away. We, we, know, we know this election is going to be tight. And, and it's going to be tight because a lot of Americans are struggling right now as as a country we've been through a lot over the last few years we've had a historic pandemic that wrecked havoc on communities and businesses disruptions from the pandemic then caused prices to spike that put a strain on family budgets and in a lot of ways it felt like the aspirations of working people have taken a back seat to the priorities of the rich and the powerful and the well-connected. So, so I understand why people are looking to shake things up. I get why sometimes folks are frustrated with politics. I'm sometimes frustrated with politics. So, so, so I get it. What I cannot understand is why anyone would think that Donald Trump will shake things up in a way that is good for you. That I don't understand. He held a town hall meeting where he's, he, he just, let, let me explain, because I've done a lot of town hall meetings. The point of a town hall meeting is to take questions. He just decided, you know what, I'm going to stop taking questions and then He's swaying to Ave Maria and 
YMCA. For about half an hour, folks are standing there not sure what's happening. Can you imagine if, if, if I did that? Can, can you imagine if Ruben did that right in the middle? Now, our playlist would probably be better. But... He called himself the father of IVF. I do not know what that means. You do not either. He said January 6th was a day of love. Do not boo, vote. It made, made, made January 6th sound like it was Woodstock. You, you would be worried if your grandpa was acting like this. No, no, I'm, I'm not joking. You would, right? You'd, be, you'd, 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 you'd call up your cousins and you'd say, have you noticed? So imagine it coming from a guy who wants to be given unchecked power. Tucson, we do not need to see what an older, loonier Donald Trump looks like with no guardrails. We have had enough of arrogance and bumbling and bluster and division. America's ready to turn the page. We're ready for a better story. We are ready for a president, Kamala Harris.